This is the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast, now serving over a handful of people, including your mom. Today on the podcast, the entire crew is back, and we discuss what's happened in the weekly news. Everything from Blizzard breaking its silence on why that private server was shut down, new Nintendo games coming to a mobile device near you, and tackling the horrible state YouTube is in, and how it treats its video content creators that made the website what it is. Stick around, this should be a good one. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Insomniac Anonymous podcast. Today is Friday, April the 29th, 2016. Wow, this is episode 7. We are... We're doing pretty good. I mean, you know, we haven't really missed an episode yet. They've been kind of late, but for the most part, we're doing pretty, pretty good. All right. Brian with the backhanded compliments here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, for the most part, it feels like it's partly my fault anyways when we have been late, mostly because of like me getting home late. But hey, what can you do? All right. So I'm actually joined by an amazing, an amazing group of people today. We Don't have... forget the IA drinking Take game. Take a shot. Take a Take shot, everybody. Shots. Take two shots. Twice. <laughs> What? Uh, Shro, I, I, Sh- Shro, I really hope that you listen to the intro to the last episode. I actually haven't gotten to listen to it yet. Okay, you really should. Okay, you me. really I'm should. But convinced, like a professor was standing outside my house <laughs> with like, a shotgun. Mel, what the um, IA drinking game is is basically any time that I say the word awesome, we all take a shot. Or amazing. Because, or, amazing. or amazing. Is it really amazing? Say it a lot. It's both now. It's I just awesomely it so. amazing. Yeah. Right. Double <laughs> shot right there. <laughs> Double shot. You got to double fist shots. that. Exactly. Double fist it. So other than that, yeah. So l- let me introduce to you all of these amazing people that I have right now. We have Schrodinger's cat. With burbs. Burb. Burb. Bird. Burb. Blub. No. Blub. Blub. Not the tags blub, again. Boob, boob, I don't bit, even know. Bibble, we have bab, dude run. Bread, burb. Tweets. Blurb. Big. Night, God damn it. <laughs> I can certainly feel the love tonight, dude. Run, thank you so Yay. much for that. That is great. And we have, of course, the adorable and awesomely awesome, amazingly That's awesome. Two shots. You're gonna make me drunk. Four God shots. Damn it. <laughs> it's like four or five, I can't count anymore. <laughs> I am going Hi. to get you all wasted tonight. You're gonna get us all killed. <laughs> Well, it's the second best thing, you know? So, I mean, hey, oh, what can you sucks. do? <laughs> so what have, you, what have you guys been up to since the last time we recorded, which is like a couple of days ago? Unless if you're Mel, then it's about a week ago, I think. I don't know. Has it been? Probably, it's right? Okay. Yeah. About yeah, about, about. Yeah. So, Shro, what's new in your life, man? Um... So I nearly broke my leg. I remember you kind of telling me about that, man. What happened? I went LARPing. Awesome. Oh. Well, you know what? It could have Take been worse. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been worse. At least you didn't break your leg, you know, just like going up the stairs or something. Yeah. That would have been embarrassing. I, bro- I nearly broke it doing something worse, being a fucking nerd in public. <laughs> that's, that's the way to go. Exactly. I mean, if that's how it's going to go down, you might as well do it having fun. Yeah. So, I mean, apart from anything else, uh, have you done any gaming lately? (coughs) Not as my body rejecting the amount of gaming it has gotten because it has been zero. Damn, that sucks, man. Well, I mean, you know, hopefully you'll you'll get around to playing a little bit more. Two more weeks. A little bit more of Rocket League, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, may or may not end up having something over that but yeah, i love sounds... me my rocket league even if it doesn't love me back <laughs> yes it's always One interesting we'll hearing you reconcile our differences <laughs> it's <laughs> always interesting just hearing you rant and just go ballistic whenever you're playing rocket league on uh team speak that's good times you guys How... do that play rocket like, league play rocket league while in team speak <laughs> Yes, oh, hi, I, yeah, yes, happens. yes. I mean, when does that happen? I've been looking for you guys, and I always miss. The well, I mean, it's usually just Shro that plays Rocket League uh, while he's on Teamspeak. Usually, yes. I play with a like a friend of mine, 
Uh, and we do it like over Facebook voice. So that's usually how I play Rocket League. I haven't really played with you guys yet, although I'm hoping to get to that fairly soon. So yeah, right. whatever you want, just let me know, Mel, and then I'm down for Rocket League. We could play no, fours. I'm, it's, it's more yes. like I'm down for listening to you guys rage. Oh, play oh. Games. yeah. <laughs> so you know what? Threes, Th those are the special moments when yeah. Tro is just <laughs> has enough time in his moments. life. Exactly. They're good moments. It's those moments when Tro has enough time in his life in order to get like maybe 15 minutes of like agony, like rage inducing pain that he just wants to take in. Those are the so. moments I want to record and then turn into an animation. <laughs> oh, how amazing would that be, though? Good times. Yeah, how about you, dude, Run? What have you been up to? Uh, I picked up an older a game I played. I haven't played since around the start of my channel called 1001 Spikes. Ooh. That it sounds is, painful. It, it is. It, it, it's going to get a lot harder from here on where I'm at. And... It's a rage platformer by a the same guys who published the Cave Story re-release. Mm -hmm. They've been busy. So oh, basically, yeah. really so busy. so basically, we're looking at a platformer now. Is this? Does it play any in any way? Like, what was that game called? Super Super Meat Boy. Eh, not really. I don't like, know I mean, how to describe it. It's. It's. Oh, I don't want to call it a Metroidvania shooter because it's not. It's. I really don't know how to explain it. it. It's not like anything I've played before. Okay, interesting. Which so I mean isn't saying much because I haven't played much at all. <laughs> Fair enough, but I mean it's not like a shovel knight type of game, right? Like platformer. Uh no. Or anything like that. Okay. It's a game where you get to the end of a certain area it's a puzzle i guess it's a puzzle game where you have like a thousand lives and you got to get to the end of the particular area you're in what's the game called again one thousand and one spikes okay awesome so i mean basically what you're saying is if you really want to check this game out go and check out dude runs youtube page because i'm pretty that's where you have all of your videos so we can check it out yes. and we can kind of see your reactions on there as well yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, I see why you're playing it. YouTube.com yep. slash user slash dude, dude run does things. Run or just go to the things. description because it's hard to spell it out. And like, it is kind of hard to spell it out. Yeah. So it'll be in the descriptions. He'll dude run. will put it in there. All right. Awesome. I mean, um, how about you, Mel? How about you? What have you been doing? Um, playing a lot of Overwatch. No, Overwatch, uh, close beta has already ended. I'm waiting. For May tree, I think May tree. May yeah. yeah May yeah May third. I thought, but I thought the account that you were on had like the closed beta from like up until, or is that also over? It did, but it ended uh around a week ago. Oh, I see. Okay, so basically so, we're yeah. both just waiting until Overwatch yep. is like. I'm having comes withdrawal out. issues. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm just like, and I only got to play it for like two hours only. You know, it's, that's the worst <laughs> oh. part. It's like everyone was like, "Yeah, come on, Brian, come and play this. Come on, you have the entire weekend to play." It. I'm like, "Fine." And then and when I got end. back to it, it was like it was done. It was like it was like a day and a half. I'm like, "No." Oh, only two hours, huh? That, that's <laughs> great. I haven't played it at all. <laughs> well, I know. I should. I, I shouldn't complain. I mean, there's a lot of people that but, haven't but played dude, it at all. It's called you have to admit, having something in front of you and then losing it, like, it's right in front of you and you're about to grab it, but then it suddenly yeah. disappears, that's worse. Yeah, I kind of did that because I thought I'd be able to get into the beta and I didn't, and now I'm oh. sad because, yeah. <laughs> now I gotta wait for the May beta. May tree! It's May. so, so close! Oh, yeah. I thought it was yep. May 5th. So close. No, 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 it's the third. So, I mean, it's less okay. than a week away. We have, let's see, we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. Dude, five days, and Fuck. Overwatch beta will be ours. Uh, I cannot uh, wait. Uh, yes. I'm actually surprised that Shro is, well, I mean, I was going to say, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Shro isn't more into, like, you know, hyped up about this game because, you know, Team Fortress 2. But then again, I mean, Shro is kind of busy with the whole everything everything yeah. yeah but hey you know what i have an amazing surprise for you guys take a shot because guess who we have coming in User right in now recording yay well, we have took fire tits, tits mcgee. mcgee 
How you doing? That was an intro. Jason. Awesome. I I had to properly introduce you once I actually saw that you were you were on. So that's why it took a while. Yes. So, so what have good. what have you been up to? Um, living with rain. Oh. Is that the rage? <laughs> Is that the rage we just heard back there? No, that uh, was a little boy telling me he bonked his head two times on his bed. Oh. Aw, oh. kids. Thank you. So darn kids. Speaking of kids, I have recently discovered a Tremorgan, if you still remember him. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> he has recently confessed that he likes going to r slash r slash child's children falling over. <laughs> <laughs> what, exa now, what, what exactly is that? Is that like a Reddit page just mm -hmm. strictly for that kids mm. that fall down? Yeah. Strictly containing kids that fall down, I'm sure. That sounds amazingly horrible. <laughs> I don't think that it should be it should be uh renamed to tiny perpetually drunk people falling <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, that sounds great actually. I'll have to sh check that out. Make sure to send me the link after this podcast. <laughs> I feel like I might be spending a couple of hours just checking all that out. That's mean. <laughs> Oh man! Why do you guys enjoy this? Because <laughs> we're all evil. Because we're all evil bastards, basically. I mean, <laughs> I, I thought that's—I I thought we had an understanding as to what kind of people we were, you know. <laughs> Either that, or Shro really needs to update the wording on the community application form. Yeah. It's like ch initial here to acknowledge that yes, we are all horrible bastards. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah so i mean like other than that my week has been pretty all right i've been playing some rocket league i also well i talked to you guys already last week about playing firewatch how awesome that game was take another shot and this week i started playing life is strange which if <gasps> you've never heard of it it's basically oh. a sort of like a storytelling game adventure game a la walking dead but it's really cool, honestly. Like, I mean, the voice acting, the characters and everything. I mean, d those are the things that really make a game kind of stand out from the rest. And I feel like character wise, like, yes, these characters are like on point. So if you've never if you've never played this game before, try it out. Episode one is only like about what? Six dollars, five dollars Canadian. So. OK, so what? Two us dollars right now i would say about three and something now like uh, I, the canadian is pretty bad but it's kind of gone a little bit better in the last couple of months uh, but it's still kind of blech. yeah so yeah definitely try episode one it's in my opinion it's actually pretty good Mel, is that have on you, steam or something it is on steam yeah because okay. i almost <laughs> i think i've used steam twice <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Mel, have you played this game? Because I kind of sense that you wanted to say something about it. Life is Strange? No, I have not played that okay. game, but I know everything about it. <laughs> okay. Have you watched someone play it? Is that the thing? I've watched a lot of people play it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite games, which is weird because I haven't played it yet. Mm -hmm. And I am planning to play it. Nice. Awesome. Uh, it's such a wonderful game. It really is, honestly. It really does feel like just like a kind of like um like a TV show, you know. Like the acting is like, it's pretty great in my opinion. Yeah, uh, what's it called? I've actually have the scenario planned out when I'm gonna play it. Like, I'm, oh, nice. I'm, it's the first game I'm gonna introduce to the girl that I was talking about a while ago. Oh right, yes, that girl. <laughs> yeah, because she, she hasn't played games yet, and yeah. I Wait, think, okay, so yeah. so this girl hasn't played any games, hasn't played any board games? Well, or? the last time she played is uh, when she was still a kid with the Atari and those stuff. So how old is she, like? Like? Do we know? Late 20s. Okay. Because, I mean, I'm in, my, I'm in my 20s, and I'm like, I don't remember. I don't think I was young enough to play Atari. I think it's a... Uh, well, have I had... It, I, my parents had it. When I was young, so I was also okay. able to play with it. 
along okay. with the family computer stuff. Nice, awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, like, definitely try it out. And you've played Oxen Free, though, right? Like, can you <gasps> are you able to tell me a little bit, like, how if it relates any shape or form to like Life is Strange as far as the like, gameplay or, or just well, kind of. Despite Oxen Free being a 2D side scroller compared yes. to Life is Strange that is a 3D cinematic thing. Fully, fully 3D yeah. rendered, yeah. They're both heavily star, uh, story focused. And, but the conversations in Oxen Free is way more organic. Like, if you, if you took too long thinking about your response, you're not gonna have, like, it's gonna take you the chance of responding. Oh, I like, see. So your then, character's just gonna be quiet. So then they just kind of skip over you and just keep going with the story or yeah. whatever with the conversation. Or they react that you're being quiet and stuff like that. Okay, so sort of it's, like I, I don't know if you played The Walking Dead, but The Walking Dead is a little bit similar to that as well. Like they'll give you options, and then there's kind of like a timer bar at the bottom, and then if you take too long, it's just like okay, yeah. he's just being quiet type of thing. So yeah, it's yeah, kind of that type. Of, okay, oh my cool. god, what's what's her name from The Walking Dead? The little girl. Uh, uh, Clementine. Clara, Clementine. 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 Yes. Nobody, nobody hurts Clementine. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Every better. person that I have watched play The Walking Dead, even though they're pretty horrible, they just like, <laughs> I want to protect Clementine. Yeah. Um, Clementine. I know, even me. He's, e- even he's me, I mean, a... like, the guy who, like, ha- wants nothing to do with kids, who doesn't want kids, and, like, I'm always like, oh, my God, no, nobody is fucking hurting Clementine. I don't care if I have to restart <laughs> this thing over and over again. And, and I love in The Walking Dead, too. Uh, was gold she she became the main protagonist yes and then she's and you're like yeah go clementine she's <laughs> she's, be- she's become such a strong character she is i know and like i once season three i am so excited for season three like i just want that game to come out so badly I because i more i really want to like, see what kind of progression like you know her character is going to take on <laughs> i really want to see more kids like clementine in games That'd be awesome, yeah. Because I mean, really, what was the other real kid we had in the game? Which it was like Duck. Duck. Yeah. You know, and, like yeah. that guy. Duck was oh my god! Shit. Like, why did he survive for so long? Like, <laughs> what are you oh, I guess about? his parents really love him for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, yeah. Oh, you didn't kill Duck. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, spoiler alert. I mean, that game is like three years old now, or like at yeah, least. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess. So, so it's kind of like. Kill Duck. He survived. No. <laughs> yes. Let's say he survived. Um, but in any in any case, so yeah, that's kind of been my gaming week for the most part, and uh, really, actually, pretty stoked for Diablo. The next season, season six, is actually starting today, later today. So that'll be kind of cool. I've been kind of postponing playing some more until this new season rolled around. And it seems like um, this season, like all the rewards are really going to be a lot of like cosmetic items. So if you actually saw the link that I sent you guys, you'll see that there's a bunch of like butterfly wings. You have like kind of the Rainer helmet. Uh, You even my favorite thing of all time. There's even a cow king pet. Uh Like It's amazing. Like it's a little cow. With like a, a, I think it's either holding a, a halberd or a spear of some kind with a crown on his head. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like I totally, what? that is totally what I want. I totally, I need to cow. get that pet. Okay. That pet yeah. needs to be gotten. What so. was, what's he, what's he holding? He's holding either like a spear or a halberd or something. Here, let me, let me just put oh, that I on see, the, I see. yeah. So I mean, the way you describe it kind of reminded me of Asgore <laughs> from, Oh, <laughs> Undertale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Undertale. Because it's a cow. It's a king with it <laughs> holding a weapon thing. You just hear like. Bum, bum, I I wouldn't be surprised bum, if you know bum, they bum, they kind of intentionally did that to kind of pay some kind of homage. Oh. Maybe who knows. Now I've got Asgore's theme in mind, and now that you mentioned cows, I'm thinking like a bunch of cows just mooing his theme. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody has done that yet. Uh, uh, God damn! Now I'm gonna have to. <laughs> right? Like somebody get on that. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. right, guys. Podcast over. We gotta go make a remix. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. We gotta go make a uh, cow orchestra. God. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, other than that, I mean, if we're talking about Blizzard news, 
Uh, Blizzard finally says why they had to shut down the World of Warcraft fan server. What was it called? Nos- Nostalrius. Nostalrius. Yeah, Nostalrius or something. Oh, do tell. Yeah, I mean, basically what happened was just that um, they they just needed to do it for, like, legal reasons, you know? Like, they needed hmm. to kind of, like... Uh, they need they, to protect their IP. Exactly, yes. So, it was, yeah, it was one of those things that that's exactly why they needed to do it. Um, and then now they've kind of talked a little bit more since then, you know, like, about why it would kind of take to run a vanilla server. And apparently, it just seems like it would be a lot of hassle for them. And again, you know, I mean, this is like business, like, yeah, like they make amazing games and everything, but at the end of the day, it is a business. It's a company that's there to make money. So you can kind of see why something like them running their own vanilla server would just not be really profitable. So it, it as sad as it sounds, it doesn't really seem like we're going to be getting a vanilla server. I have to read more into that because uh, if you think about it, they could have just bought the people running the server, if they that is possible. Have, right? Yeah, they could have. And even, you know, maybe hired some of the folks on there as well. Yeah, because, you know, then yeah. there'll be an available vanilla server that serves their company. Exactly. Even if they just, like, lowered even the subscription rate to something like, I don't know, $5 a month or something. Or 10 yeah. They can totally survive off 5 or 10 Yeah, I mean, how, how many people they had? Like, 100 and, 150,000, I think? If, if the mm-hmm. They were. don't they don't post their uh they don't post that info anymore so i don't know oh they don't okay i am i thought i had something seen something about that that the vanilla server mm-hmm. was but in any case oh, the i vanilla mean vanilla server I thought yes like, the vanilla wow. server so i mean if that is the case i mean that's a really respectable number you know mm-hmm. i mean i don't even mm-hmm. think the original everquest still has that amount of people or maybe around that number I honestly don't know, but yeah, hey, it's something that he could have done, but I guess, you know, time will tell. We'll see. We'll see how uh, Legion goes as well, because that's, that's an expansion I'm kind of like looking forward to, but at the same time, still kind of not really looking forward to. I can't afford it. They so have enough. Matter. They it's have like, enough. It's like one of those things. Yeah. Like, I mean, not only, I mean, it's more money to throw at the game as well, but it's like, there's so many other amazing take a shot games that you can play out there, you know? So it's like, there's really, there's no time to just keep sinking money into this game. Because money, I stopped, time yeah. is money. I stopped playing right after Kata for the same reasons. Mm-hmm. And even now, like, I feel like there's, like, I'm, I have, I don't have enough time to play all the games that I want, you know? I mean, for some reason, I just recently started playing Life is Strange, which is a game I've owned for a while. And um, even Firewatch, I've owned that since the day it came out, and I just played it like this week. So it's like, man, this is just not enough time. So we'll see what happens with me in World of Warcraft. I think it might be, it might be time to call it quits. Time will tell. My so, previous, oh, uh, yes. Uh, my previous boss uh, in uh, in the previous workplace that I was in, he plays WoW as well, and. I don't know. I don't really see the appeal of it anymore. Please don't burn me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have. That's fine. Yeah, like, I mean, it, it all depends on the type of person that you are as well, right? Since, yeah. since, well, it's probably because you guys have, like, nostalgia factor in as well. But since he was playing it and it was pretty popular in the company, I tried getting into it. After Guild Wars, where it, I've been spoiled so much about all the customizations and the cosmetic items and stuff i couldn't <laughs> yeah that's true i feel like world of warcraft really has lagged behind a little bit on customization and all that kind of stuff but i feel like it was just really because it's a product of its time and back then you know whatever technology they use they're still trying to upgrade that somehow i mean it's yeah it's a 10 year old game too. it's a 10 year old game so it's they've had their they've had their problems more with that More than 10 now. Too, oh, yeah. Too, too bad that Blizzard's other MMO got cancelled, though. Right. Well, I mean, that MMO just ended up being Overwatch, so... Yeah, we, but, should, we should be happy. You know, uh, for people that is interested in Warcraft but cannot get into it because it's already aged, it would have been a good entry... Uh, uh, 
a good game to get into finally something right it would have been like a good gateway game to uh, yeah something from blizzard that's like finally updated with all the customizations and the models the models that aren't used nowadays and whatsoever mm-hmm. no yeah you're right you're you're completely right um i i feel like it probably would have kind of cannibalized onto world of warcraft's income if they had done it so soon what i do think it, I'm pretty sure they will be releasing another MMO down the line, but they're probably going to wait until World of Warcraft, really. I mean, there's nothing, there's no more milk to yeah. get out of the cow. You know, and I think finally at that point, then yes, we'll start to we'll start to maybe see or hear rumors of a new MMO in development. And, you know, if we know anything from Blizzard, it's it's going to be amazing. Take a shot. <laughs> You should say, you should just say amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> you did that at the amazing, start of the last awesome. podcast. I did, Actually, yeah. Actually, no, technically, the shot thing was supposed to be for the word awesome. True. But so. then you started saying amazing a lot, so then I, I, okay. I, I retconned it and said both. Okay. <laughs> well, if you're fine. not dead now, you will if be by the end You will be now. Amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing, <laughs> awesome. Awesomely amazing. Right. So how's everyone doing with their little Miotomi or what is it called? Mitomo. Mitomo. Yes. How, been how's that going? It. Me too. Bad I think mouth. It's to die bad dude run. <laughs> bad. Well, bad. We don't have to feed it. We just have to change yeah. its clothes. Oh, okay, just change its diapers <laughs> and that kind of thing. You know? <laughs> yeah. Occasionally the underwear gets dirty. <laughs> well, of course I think you it's gotta because, change. Uh, it lacks engaging stuff to do aside from you know. Yeah. Could grind be. through the questions and listen to people especially if you've mm-hmm. tried adding a lot of people that you're not very close with because mm-hmm. whenever you add someone you're gonna have to grind through their questions that uh to their to their answers that you've heard from other people as well well this is my case like uh, it gets boring okay. it gets extremely repetitive okay fair enough fair enough I mean, the only other oh sorry you first. no go ahead go ahead dude so the only other thing you can do outside of grinding on questions and changing clothes is taking photos of your me in various which different ways. Which I was addicted which... in for a short <laughs> yeah. amount of time. Well, yeah, I mean, I yeah, that, extremely creative with it. That definitely seems like something that will grab your attention for like the beginning. But yeah, if that's pretty much all it is, I can definitely see how you guys, your interest has kind of waned yeah. on this if, application. If, if the app actually gave more credit to like, more creative pictures that were made like i don't know it would have it would have garnered more attention from people like say if you created this much pictures today you get this much and people like it so much you get this much coins oh, that'd be interesting now yeah. these coins are they used for anything yeah do you we're using it to buy to buy clothes more clothes. Oh, okay. nice. oh god, I was going to actually say that sarcastically. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then again, I mean, if one. you're dude run, then you're not just only changing clothes, but you're changing them and then throwing the old clothes in the burn barrel. Uh, no. Why? No, you wash them like a normal I thought, person. I thought you were throwing your clothes in the burn barrel. No. I this, threw we them had in the this, wash bin. We had this conversation a few episodes no, ago. No, we didn't. I'm going to splice in that no. part where he's talking about how he throws in his, <laughs> his clothes in the burn barrel. He's in the I never room. said those words, and I'm not saying them today, so no. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. I mean, they're off and, like, burning in the pile over there. What do you want? Isn't that As how they you burn your be. clothes? No, I burn them. You're I'm doing just... it wrong. No. What? See? I told you! I told no. you it was there! I'm not going to say we those words in any right order. Now. We're not hearing the splicing. <laughs> but it would have been better if he splice it right after he said i've never said that then, i'll probably end up doing that we'll see how that works <laughs> gonna be gonna 10 minutes of so brian recutting this in those there. words in this podcast thank you very much <laughs> every single i'm gonna just like yeah i'm gonna do like what what you said is just take every single word and cut him up from every episode i can find in order to fabricate that sentence <laughs> okay it's gonna and be i'll amazing. ruin it for you right now okay Burn barrel. <laughs> there, I ruined it oh, for you. Man. Everybody else that might be wanting to do that. Oh, so, so now I what mean, we need to do is we all need to create a fi- 
sound file of dude saying throwing his laundry in the burn barrel and just put it on every fucking website we can find. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. But yeah, so I mean, like, so it seems like this, what was it, Miyotomo, whatever you're calling Mi-tomo. it? Miyotomo. Miyotomo. Okay, fine, whatever. So I, it, this is like the first attempt of Nintendo of putting a mobile app. Yep, and there will be more coming. Yes, apparently now they're putting they're putting Animal Crossing and Fire Emblems. They're both getting mobile apps. More yeah. importantly, I've heard Pokemon is getting oh, an yeah. app, Pokemon and Go. it's going to be geolocated. So, Pokemon Go. Yep. Pokemon Go. Like we've been hearing about this for a long time, but when is that coming out? No idea. Okay, now oh, I can gu- I can tell you guys that the Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem game. The ones that are coming to mobile, they're going to be out this fall. So at least we have some kind of a time frame for anybody who wants to play Animal Crossing or Fire Emblem on their iOS or Android devices. So there you go. I'm distracted by Pokemon Go. <laughs> I, I want Pokemon Go. Honestly, that I'm is the excited. one game, the one mobile game that I'm actually stoked about. I don't want to get hype about it because unless it has... Unless it becomes holograms that you see in real life. I'm never going to be satisfied. Uh, <laughs> I know it has, it put, it takes a, it takes the camera footage and like adds a model of the Pokemon somewhere. <gasps> what I if think you put I've that seen on that. Those, what if you put that on those virtual cardboard There are thingy? virtual oh. reality helmets that, <gasps> that connect to... Yeah, but wouldn't that be a little awkward to have in real life, though? Because you can't really see shit. Yeah. It'd be so worth it. (laughs) Just, like, run into traffic. Oh, my God, a shiny. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, that would be amazingly horrible. So think about where I work. We were talking about this at work the other day. It's like, dude, you know, so, like, if you, like, go over Lake Erie or something, then, you know, you could find you know, a uh, sea king or something stupid like that or whatever, uh, you know, water Pokemon. And then if you went to the park, you could find, you know, the bird Pokemon or something. You're like, what should we have here? We should totally try to make something for here. I'm like Growlithe and Arcanans, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all barking at each other constantly, <laughs> no matter what you're doing. Just- I want the nine tails. And two of them are trying to dry hump each other. Yeah. <laughs> but failing miserably. Oh, yes. Yeah, there'd be a, be a nine tail sleeping in the corner getting mad at everything that walks by. <laughs> Have I mentioned the JF of the dog trying to hump another dog, but he's like, he's not even on top of the other dog? Oh, my yeah, God. He's, and he's like humping air? Yeah. yeah like, no, this, this happens on a... Like hourly basis at work, if not faster. It's, <laughs> it's like literally all day long. And then somebody edited it, and then every time he humps, there's this, the word miss that appears. Just like in MMOs. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Poor and I shot, guy. and I missed. And I shot, and I missed. And I shot, and I missed. So it's like in MMOs, whenever you miss, like the word miss comes yeah. out of your yeah. head. Yeah. So it's like a continuous miss, miss. And I got a popsicle, miss. and I missed, and then I got missed again. Out in the snow. <laughs> oh man! And then I woke up, and I shot, and I missed. I fired. I hit something, but it wasn't what I was going for, so I guess I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Game Grumps, ladies on. and gentlemen. Love those guys. Nice. Hey, so um, Shro, remember how we started playing Rocket League that one time, and. Uh, yes. and- Are you- <laughs> <laughs> Are you dying? Should we call Apparently. someone? <laughs> Are you gonna be okay, man? Do I need to call somebody? Do I need to call your um your vet? Need to call a doctor, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so remember Shro when we were playing Rocket League and then all of a sudden we were start we were playing this basketball game. Yeah, so you know, it turns out we didn't even know that was the day it launched, I think. Yeah, that was the day it launched. How crazy we, is that? We we fucking accidentally played this level <laughs> that launched earlier that day. And we just <laughs> accidentally, I wasn't paying attention to the fact that I still had it on that level as I was waiting for Brian to get fucking back to his computer. <laughs> and so I hit the button and it's just like, oh, basketball. 
Yeah, honestly, like, different. It, it really was honestly, and I mean, me being new to the game and everything, I thought, oh, it's just another mode that I never really went to before. Because usually, for people that haven't played Rocket League, and if you haven't played it, that's fine. But if you don't know what Rocket League is, and guys, like, get with the program. <laughs> Rocket League is basically playing soccer but with cars, and yeah, Very like the cars. and basically what this mode is now is just basketball but with cars and it's it's actually a fun mode because i ended up playing this mode with a friend of mine for a little bit longer and it was pretty fun although man it's super hard to like get it in there oh my hey that's what she said <laughs> that's and that's what he things. said that's yeah what, that's i have to admit that the ball does kind of bounce around the rims a lot and that's what she said you that's gotta what really said. you gotta just you know, you got to fall back and alley oop it right down the just... middle. <laughs> These are all things that he said, not she said. It could be things and then that she got said. disappointed because he couldn't get it in the goddamn. He was mold. all talk. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, if the balls are bouncing around the rim, that's actually okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> Hello, let me just boner, let me just put friend. that in my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> I blame you guys. You guys are the one putting the images in my head. <laughs> I, we are horrible people. Don't think that's how this works, now. We are horrible people. <laughs> I've been clean since the start of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't. As she I says while she's sitting at her desk, it's like totally bathing herself so. in peanut butter. <laughs> 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 that is definitely not what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Uh, I think the last thing on our news docket was the um, the whole thing that YouTube is doing with the uh, ID tags. What was up with that? Content ID. Content uh, ID. Also it known is... as the shit stain that is YouTube's legal market. Yep. Oh, yeah. They yes. tried to streamline their like content matching system to where, oh, hey, you could just submit a thing to their database and then youtube could find any and all videos in their servers that match that certain thing that they submitted and it sucks ass because it's either getting false matches or just sucking in general and uh, it's stupid i don't like it i'm afraid for my life because it's my channel's my baby. I don't want to get. I don't want to lose stuff. But anyway, I'm digressing. You really are like afraid for your life sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's usage want... rights, man. You you know it's legal. You get like ten seconds of anything. No, there will not be one pixel that looked like it came from Metal Gear Solid. Yep. Pretty much, oh, okay, yeah. man. Yeah, that's insane. Honestly, like I really wish that these people would kind of like you know, come up with a solution already. I mean. You, they yeah, should be the trying to protect called, don't be a fucking asshole they're trying yeah. they should be trying to protect the people that are basically giving them money you know it's, and they're not and they're not that's that's the horrible part but and i mean it's it's not like it's just a small vocal minority that's complaining about this i mean it's fucking this everybody is is everybody about this exactly that so, guy with the glasses made a whole like thing about uh dmca reform recently and how content id is terrible and broken oh yeah i so, think even the youtube claim system is bullshit it is yeah it recently it, got better just like today but still it, it, it was I feel, terrible I feel it has a long way to go still until yes kind until of scary how was it called big companies are Going into YouTube and then starting competing with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I would say that kudos to MatPat, the game theory. It did clear out <laughs> a bit of the confusion because... Uh, he has this video about something that says, even though there are big companies in YouTube, it doesn't mean that there's less stuff for other people that are small. If I'm getting that right. Right, yeah, and I mean, you know, that's that's pretty much the thing, right? So the thing is also the um yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of crap going on right now, and it feels like 
you know, how do we even get around to to trying to fix it? Or well, obviously it's not ours to fix; it's it's up to them. But yeah, I it just I don't get it, man. I just I don't get it. It's not even YouTube's thing to fix; it's a government thing. Like people are companies are exercising their rights to protect their IP and pretty much make some are even stealing money from content creators who are using these things properly in fair mm -hmm. use and it's being ignored and only just recently did co the copyright claim systems on YouTube become more towards more fair basically it used to be where if a claim is issued on a video any revenue would be going to the person who made the claim on your video and if you dispute the claim it still all goes to the person who made the claim until it's decided that you are the proper you are in the right here and only then do you start making revenue again on your videos but any money made during that time period where the claim's been made still went to the company or the person that claimed the video right it's bullshit. Now they basically put that lump that uh, I'm going to call it claimed. Re I'm going to call it uh, counterclaim revenue since I don't want to word that any better. Fuck mm -hmm. any revenue made during a counterclaim will be held uh, to the side until a, the dispute is settled and it'll go to whoever won the dispute. So it discourages trolls a lot. I like that very much. Totally, yeah. <sighs> Hopefully in time, you know, we'll see better yeah. and better changes. Oh, Jim Quisition really did a number on people trying to claim his videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, pretty yeah. Who? A uh, guy named Jim Quisition. I think Jim he does Quisition. video game reviews. I, yes. I thought for a moment there you guys said like the Inquisition. I'm like, what? Yeah, the Spanish <laughs> yes, Inquisition. the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> because nobody expected it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nobody expects the Spanish Jim Inquisition. <laughs> Just like nobody expects <laughs> raging furry porn. Yes. I mean, <laughs> you... I'm, I'm not clicking. I'll totally. click it. I mean, he, what, it. what was it he did? Like he he ended up doing a video that mm. you know had content from another one of his videos that somebody had already kind of claimed, filed a yeah. claim yeah some kind of a claim on it so then the first company was claiming on the second company so then it was like these two big companies like just trying to fight out the claim off of each other and so it was in monetary it was in monetary limbo and nobody yeah. could get revenue <laughs> from it not even him it's oh man that's insane that's an idea mm. exactly like but I mean, you know, you're still not really making any money, though. But yeah, if you're having it'd be problems just a fun with, thing. but still, if you're having problems with a big company, like for some reason, have another company fight that big company. Oh yeah, just let all the the big guys just fight each let, other. Let them like use up all their resources for all this bullshit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So is there anything um, going on in our community lately? Anything um, new or? I mean, I sweetened everybody's coffee this morning with jizz. Oh, awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you. For that. <laughs> that was actually I thought very it good. tasted extra crispy. It's been a while since oh I my. had coffee, but I did have coffee this morning and it, that just ruined it. <laughs> that, no, I'll never have coffee I again. I think that improves it, really. If anything. It's more a protein. A little bit of hint of Pine Somebody, water. I don't actually drink coffee. I drink tea and sodas and water and juice. But I don't really drink coffee at all. But if you buy me a coffee, um, I will like pretty throw much it back at it, your face. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like if you, if you buy the coffee and it's like the coffee goes down the sink or on the floor or something, or you drink it, are the options. I'll probably j drink it just to be polite, whatever. And that's happened a few times now at my most recent job. Like, somebody will just, like, buy everybody coffee or something. And I'm like, I don't. What? What? Do? Why can't you just um, say no? Well, because they bought it, like, one for everybody kind of a thing. So it's just like, uh, uh, oh. to be oh, kind kind there. of thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a 
manners thing. Uh, I could probably say no, and somebody else would drink it. In fact, I know that would happen, but yeah. I don't you know, know what I'm you just... do in those cases? But... You put so much sugar in it that you can't even taste well, the coffee, so, and you so put the so much point... milk. The, the actual point of me saying all this was, is a client brought in uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and we had like a big old box of donuts, Ew. and then they actually oh. have a box oh, of yeah. coffee, too. <laughs> Oh, God. And that's yeah. already brewed and everything. I could imagine. And I couldn't fathom why this. I, I even drinking it, I under, I didn't get it. And I fucking wanted coffee. Like I, I went over and I made myself like a half of a small cup of coffee, and I sugared the shit out of it, and I put milk in it. I'm like, this is okay. I mean, oh. I still don't really, like, enjoy it, but for some reason, I wanted this, and I'm continuing to put it in my face, <laughs> and I okay. don't know what's going on anymore. For a moment there, I thought you were going to... You guys know... I don't know if you guys have this in America. Probably do. Uh, those Dunkin' Donuts with the cream inside. Oh, yeah. I'm not a fan. With the not white gooey cream inside. Yeah, no. I don't no. like the no. filling. No. no. Are, are we not sure what I was going to say. No, 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 no. I'm I'm gonna examine the quality of the <laughs> filling of your donut here, ma'am. <laughs> is it he, is it a light fluffy filling? filling? Is it an overly sweet <laughs> sugar filling? Or are we talking about a straight up pudding? See, as much as like, I need the nice thick pudding, I want the batter is what you need. in the donut. As, this as much is as the I quality like. pudding. As much as I cream. like the green filled, uh, cream filled donuts like it, um, they're technically my favorite type of donut <laughs> if I were to eat them, which is almost never. Every time I eat one or see one, I can't help but think of Van Wilder. Whole scene, oh the... God! Yes, <laughs> what? That is, I swear that is the first thing that came to mind as soon as Mel said cream-filled donuts. <laughs> Wait, what? What? I didn't hear that properly. It's there's a scene in Van Wilder where the uh, the protagonist gets like this pit bull or a French bulldog or whatever, yeah, some English. kind of dog. Okay, those English are bulldog. all very different breeds. I, but you know what? To me, it the wording is kind of the same on them. Okay, so. Got C- cut me some slack. Okay. Cut me some slack. Got okay, dog. so basically, some kind of dog, and uh, then it turned into a cat. He, he proceeded. <laughs> he proceeded to ejaculate the dog into the fillings of the donuts. Alrighty and, then. And then <laughs> he he proceeded to give those donuts over to I don't know whoever was the antagonist in the uh, in the movie. So as soon as you said cream filled donuts and we got off the topic of like, you know, Shro's uh, deliciously <laughs> cemented coffee. coffee. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing that came to mind. So apparently um, my my uh, trainers at my gym have this thing with donuts pretty much right after they work out. It totally negates the thing of working out. <laughs> I anyway. was going to say that seems counterproductive. Anyway, Actually, I'm gonna apparently, say something about that there is this gourmet don- donut place somewhere here in downtown Vegas where you can get them with Pop Tarts inside them. They oh, can uh, make donut barf. with Pop Tarts. <laughs> barf. I can't, no, man. Oh, I no, I like, can't do that. I Depends like on what kind of Pop Tart it is. Because if it's Pop-Tart. the wild. Oh, never mind. If it was the I wild berry thing, that. I'd be all, all over that. No. It's like you're shoving you you're just shoving a pop tart into a donut. Like what? I don't care. Nothing complements each other. The I wild know, berry would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, about the eating something right after a uh, workout cuz our game producer, she's kind of she's very conscious about her health because she's getting a bit old. So she works out just so she can eat a lot afterwards i mean hey you're gonna be aware of your surroundings that's one way to do it (laughs) yeah like she's not working out so that she's gonna she's she's going to get thinner or something like that but it makes sense doesn't it it does i mean yeah like if you're gonna if that's what you're gonna do in order for you to be able to pig out then you might as well do it i mean i mean hey they're better off than a lot of people like me that are just eating because we want to and then do shit all about it after so (laughs) 
Like me too. Yeah. So props to them for at least, you know, not only knowing what their problem is, but addressing that problem. Yeah. So, so you want to, you guys want to hear something amazing? It's been a month and a half since I've had pizza. What? Oh my how you, God. How do you how even you live? live right now? What is the point of living? How are like, you surviving? Congratulations this? on not having pizza, but like, wow, I would not be able to do that. Good on you. I, I wouldn't think I would either. But I would die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that takes, I, like, I, I don't think I can go like four hours without just craving pizza. Like it just, it pops into my mind. I think oh. even more often than sex, you know, like. Oh, I think <laughs> seeing is how my husband and my kids still eat it. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. What? Like, oh. You, you see them eat it, and then you just don't... Yep. I've lost 10 pounds since I've given up pizza and bread and all that shit, so I'm that gonna is, call it good. <laughs> that is such suffering. Yes, but... Especially if you smell, them, smell the pizzas. Ah, oh, that's so horrible. Or if you're taking pictures of pizza for thumbnails for your videos. Yeah, we just telling you about pizza a while oh, my ago. God, everything looked delicious. I'm gonna have pizzas in the movies now. <laughs> I was thinking of taking so many popcorns to the movies that like I'll have three buckets because we we're gonna watch Civil War la later. But now I want to bring a whole pizza. Do it. <laughs> or is it one of those theaters that serves pizza? No, it's Damn. it's one of those th theaters that only have. It's not even a big theater. We only go there just because people mm. don't realize that they can actually go there. So uh -huh. there's very little amount of people. So it's like it's so small that whenever you go there, it's like you basically have the whole place to yourself. No, not not like that. Like it still gets filled. It's just that people rarely go there. Uh, how would I explain this? People don't normally go there. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's a really, really popular movie, which is Civil War is gonna be like it's gonna be jump back. But compared to the to the mainstream uh, movie areas, it's still better. There's no long lines whatsoever. Okay, nice. Is this an easier an easier experience going to the movies whenever you go there? Yeah, like if you're excited, if you're really that excited about it, you're like you just show up and then you can just go right in. You don't have to. Wait for a freaking long line. Fair enough. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I think uh, we're going to call it a night. And uh, we'll be here again next week. So as far as where you can find us, you well, we are on the Insomniac Synonymous website. There'll be links down in the description. Somewhere in the description. Thanks to Dude Run. And uh, Dude Run and I, you can find us on Twitter. Again, description. And Dude Run runs in his own YouTube channel, which again, description. Description. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much heavy? just expect to find every kind of social media link or whatever in the description because it's hard to. Dude's going to link name. literally the entire internet into the description. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Which could theoretically be done by just internet linking to Google. Slash Google. Slash IA. Slash penis. All the I like the sound of that. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here, and we will see you again for episode eight. Until then, we are the Insomniacs Anonymous, and we are out. Sleeping. Always awake. <laughs>